replacing that unit right there this morning waiting on the crane operator right now I'm sitting here on the roof just taking a seat wish you were here with me and that right there is Taco Bell and then you got AutoZone and you got Burger King hope you're healthy and happy this morning doing a little crane lift this morning and then after that who knows service calls service work Bob and Dustin B&D team figure I do a little live for a minute until the crane operator gets here which he'll be here any minute. Oh wow, look at that thing. Look at that gigantic. That's quite large. In the meantime, let me show you what you shouldn't do. Because I noticed some stuff on Taco Bell's roof. <laughs> I'll show you. Taco Bell. No quiero Taco Bell. First thing, this got left on the roof. Somebody changed out a condenser for the refrigeration. Somebody cut the pressure switches out of that unit. Oh, somebody left a compressor on the roof. Yay! Somebody took the guard off of this coil for this package unit. What? And what else? I don't know what that is. That is just amazing. Hope you're healthy and happy this morning. Bob and Dustin. Got all the trucks parked out back got the curb down there and then the new five ton commercial package gas unit exciting mm. exciting train driver should be here about 8 30. that's why i've been staying up here so i could get his attention make sure he knows we're parked around back that way he can reach the package unit and the curb all right if you have any questions leave them in the comments you know what i'll do you know i'll read them you know i'll answer them with either a live video or i will do a video He'll be here soon. Carona. Well, he'll be here in a little bit, guys. Really appreciate you tuning in. Another 15 minutes or so, Bob. He'll be here. You gotta get here before the crane driver gets here. That way you can get the unit disconnected and get it ready so that when he pulls that old packaging it off the off the old curb that we make sure we don't tear anything up like the thermostat wire you got to tie it off that way you can get to it and it doesn't fall down in the ductwork in the building and then you got to shut the breaker off make sure you get to the breaker and shut the breaker off for the uh, the 
power coming to the to the disconnect so that you can get the disconnect off of that package unit. And then we also had a 110 receptacle that was up here. So nothing was labeled in the box, but now it's labeled because of course, once we did a process of elimination and I stood down here and flipped the breaker off, and we were on the phone, I was on the phone with Bob. He was checking with his meter. Once we get everything um, located and identified, then we label it. That way, if we ever have to come back up here and work on it, we know where the breaker is that feeds the power to the package unit. A little bit of advice there. There's the old disconnect box, the old receptacle, and it was on the side of this package unit. I've got a curb adapter that will go on that old curb, and then our new package unit will set on that curb adapter just like this right here. You see this package unit sets on a curb adapter and then that curb adapter sets on the old curb. So, we use Brown Sign Company. They're out of Paris, Tennessee. Craig is awesome, so. Very easy going, good to work with. You want to see a job where I did a package rooftop replacement. I've got a video on that. You should check that out. It's on my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. Talks about basic stuff like this. Also, I've got a video on how to measure a curb and um, getting a curb verification chart and how to fill that out. Sometimes you can just call the distributor and give them the model and serial number of the old unit that you're replacing and then they'll be able to get you a curb from there sometimes you don't have to don't even have to measure the old curb but it's always good to have the measurements ready to get the old gone and get the new in train voyager good morning are you working hard or hardly working my brother Ryan, glad to see you here. Glad you're here, my brother. I am hardly working, but hard working. I am both. I'm doing both. Depends on uh, what time it is, really. Right now, I'm just sitting on the edge of the H&R Block and the Taco Bell. Thanks for the thumbs up. Really appreciate you. Just a waiting, just a waiting on the crane. I replaced that unit over there. I replaced this unit right here. Now I'm about to put, replace this unit. So exciting. I think I did my first, I was on my first lift where we replaced the unit in 2000 and I don't know, 2000 and, man, I want to say 2000, around 2007. So, it's been a while since my first lift. And I was quite a bit younger at the time. In the 20s, the early 20s. So, now I'm in the early 30s. Yay. Coming to you live from the rooftop of Taco Bell. Oh, there goes the Corona truck. If you wanted a Corona, there it goes. All right, well, I was going to see if I could get some of this footage of the crane and the lift and all that, but it seems it's going to be a minute. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you being here. For everybody that's new, I really appreciate you. Oh, I got a question. Is my members button working? Because I've got a lot of new members this last week, but I got this one member, Levi, who's asking me or telling me that the member button doesn't work. And he's saying that even when I send him the link, because he wants to join, he says he wants to join, he wants to be a member. And I'm like, thank you so much. That's awesome. But he says that the member button doesn't show up, like there's no button to push. So I'm wondering if it's something he's doing, if it's because he's not signed in or maybe he's signed in but maybe my stuff's not working and it's hard to find the member button. If it is, if you could, if you're watching this video right now, even if it's over and you're watching uh, the replay, 
go see if you can become a member see if you can click that button you don't have to I just want you to see if it's possible and then comment below and say yes I see the member button I, I can join and there's no problem because if there is a problem I want to reach out to YouTube and make sure that I have it handled because if I have people that want to be members but they have no way to do it that's not good you know because I need those members those members are mine no, I'm just kidding <laughs> that's awesome but it is awesome man I'm, I'm talking to people every day in fact Gary yesterday I got a message from Gary he's from Spain he says and there's villas in Spain and they're using 9,000 and 12,000 BTU mini splits in those villas and that's awesome because there's not a lot of ducted units so if you live in Spain then you probably have a lot more experience with installing mini splits working on mini splits and that's something that would be amazing because I would love for mini splits to really open up and be I'll look into it thank you Ryan I would love for mini splits to be pushed more here because they can meet the needs of a wide range of more applications than the ducted units can you can't always get duct work in but with mini splits there's a different indoor air handler for every application so it's awesome thank you Ryan for looking into the members video or the members button to see if something's wrong because I really I don't like hearing people message me or I don't like seeing when people message me and go I want to be a member but I can't find the button and then I send them this link that's supposed to be able to give them that button and then still can't find it so definitely need to figure that out because the more time I get the more time I'm going to give that's how this works see I've got a lot of responsibility and things I do every day and if I could get that time freed up then I will be doing way more videos for you guys I'll be giving you way more knowledge I'll be taking you on jobs with me showing you start to finish so that's what I need really where are you my brother where are you at let me know if you got any questions even if it's over and you're watching the replay comment below if you don't have any questions that's fine let me know who you are where you're from I always want to know who my viewers are and where you're from it's amazing how many countries 18 countries now that are watching me live unbelievable never thought this in a million years I also have one more question for everybody that's watching should I change my YouTube name I've been contemplating it lately just because my biggest playlist is HVAC that is it HVAC tips for technicians and homeowners is huge I mean 70% of my traffic comes from that okay so if you go to my main page you can see the join button Ryan dude thank you for doing that so there's no excuse then so this person's either not signed in or they are using a mobile device and maybe they have to use a computer or something but then again you are using your mobile device because that's probably what, how you're watching so yeah it's probably just they're not signed in thank you Ryan so it's only one I've only had one doing that so where was I oh yeah YouTube channel name should I change it should I change it I feel like that if I changed it to something more along the lines of HVAC then I would have more people looking at my channel and then I wouldn't have oh 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 here we go 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 oh yeah there you are baby come on in oh that's the wrong drive don't go in that one come on down come on down Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on. Come on down. Come on down, Brown. That is not the way to go. Don't go in that way. Oh no, he's pulling in the wrong way. That is the exit for Taco Bell. Come around back. There he goes. There's Brown. Yeah. You got the B and D team, baby. If you saw my video a couple days ago where I was talking about mini splits, Bob and Dustin installed a sweet ducted unit in this cabin. There's Brown. Yes. We are excited now. And we didn't even we didn't even get in the way of the drive-through, so now people can still get their food. What's going on? Coming up. All right. 
Guys, I'm about to end the live. Thank you for watching. Morning. Morning. Brown it's Sign Company, man. Than yesterday, isn't it? I'm it's doing, nice. I'm, today. I'm doing a live right now. You want to say Brown Sign Company? Brown Anything? Sign Company. Brown you know Sign that. Company, right here. This guy does all my lifts. Awesome to work with. So, Good. Yeah. Definitely, man. Get you some business in Paris, Tennessee. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.